Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Um, in this session, I will uh, discuss in June 2018 um, legacy corporation. So, in this question, uh, is focusing on the percents the percent to sales method to construct a performer balance sheet for the year of 2018 <coughs> in order to estimate the amount of external additional fund needed okay we go uh, for the question so you can see in this kind of question you will given the balance sheet the right hand side you have a total asset uh, and um, at the at the left hand side is a total asset the right hand side is a total liability so if this is a typical uh, balance sheet so what is you need to proceed is you need to understand okay um, they have been the actual year that is legacy corporation 2018 generated itself volume 50 million so we already uh, have a 50 million here we highlight and extract the key information so we already extract the 15 15 million then a volume expected to increase 30 percent in next year in the next year so meaning that 15 million will be grow 30 percent so we extract 30 percent and then they give you uh, information that the net profit margin and dividend payout ratio is expected to be similar similar mean uh, if they pay 6% 6 mean the ratio is, is similar so it's net profit margin is 6% in year 2017 meaning that in the year of 2018 also 6% okay dividend payout 90,000 okay uh, so this one it cannot be similar because because why because it's 30% increase so you need to have the ratio uh, later on we will we later on, we, I, I will show you how to uh, get the dividend payout ratio. Now, dividend uh, is 90,000. They give you in terms of money. It's not a uh, margin. So, and then the percent sales method. So, using the sales percent method, and then you need to require a performa balance sheet. This is, you need to construct the same balance sheet. Okay. And then to estimate the amount of external additional fund. So, this is your ultimate goal in this question all right so let me start okay in this question i prefer you in this format okay uh, what you have in this format first of all you we extract first the uh the the information okay we have the sale information um here so 15,000 and then they give you a profit margin is uh, net income is um, 6% and then uh, they give you um, 19,000 okay they give you 19,000 so you extract here and then they give you safe growth rate is um, 30% so you need to have a 30% here okay I think that's all so you already transfer in the first paragraph okay you already transfer all this item in the paragraph okay now the second step is you transfer all this account or uh, this amount into your balance sheet i mean you copy directly the um, the the item okay you copy exactly the same okay and be careful when you transfer so we get the same is five thousand uh five million five hundred thousand okay five thousand five hundred million uh, okay point five four five point five million and five point five million all right mm, but before we proceed here okay <coughs> okay excuse me yeah so income statement for 2017 sales and then you will get a net income so from income statement you need to uh, you need to know what is the amount of net income okay so it not require you to calculate but in order to calculate you need to um, multiply 0 0.06 with 15 million so you will get 900 thousand okay 
So you already now know the net income, right? So when you know the net income, the most important thing say I you already get the net profit margin because they said the the margin is the same. But how about the dividend payout margin? The similar part is here. This is the crucial part because you need to divide 19,000 divided by net income. This is dividend payout ratio, okay? So you divide, you will get the 10% ratio. So this is we call similar with 2017. So when you see the question said, the net profit margin and dividend payout ratio. See, the ratio for 2018 is expected to be similar in 2017. So, that's why I emphasize you to to, to have because some they already give ratio but in dividend payout ratio, they don't give any ratio. So, now I give you ratio. So, here is a ratio. Okay. Okay. So, here is our ratio so same goes to our step by step to produce a need we need to have a all ratio i mean all ratio in term of current asset free asset current other gravity ratio so how you do the do this is what for example you want to get a ratio so they give you in the fifteen thousand uh in 50 million right so 130 uh thousand divided by 30 the 50 million so you will get 0 0.01 okay so same go for uh, market security account receivable all right and inventories okay so you already get the ratio and so same also for gross ppe uh, ppe stand for uh, property plan and equipment I use a short form okay so net PPE is after you uh, minus a depreciation so when you minus a depreciation so you will get the uh, the 3000.3 3 million 520 okay so you total up you get 5 million so but the most important in the first step you will get this section first then you get the ratio now i already calculate all this ratio so i hope that you can try it until the common stock now nothing to do with return earning okay don't worry just calculate the ratio first okay but in this uh item some item is unchanged uc stand for unchanged that's why i highlighted here some of them is not related or not uh we were not related to the sale okay for example current asset we related to the sale free asset also related to the sale current liability some of uh, most of uh, the item is related to sales i mean related to sales what is uh, going on with the activity of sales so this is a uh, not payable so uh not payable is not related long term is not related and common stock is not related so when it's not related, so no payables, uh, long-term borrowing and secure, you no need to have the, the ratio. Alright, so we done part here. Now we go for the performance.